Hello and welcome to Disorientation, a Thief Fan Mission by Milan. This is a direct sequel to the mission I just played, Bad Debts. Now, as usual, it doesn't have a uh, intro briefing video, so I'm just going to read the text. After the conclusion to the Downlock Affair, I decided to take a break from regular thieving. Lay low and hide until the noise about assassinations and unlawful conspiracies dies down. I spent most of my time in a rented apartment and wasted a lot of my gains on bribes and rebuilding a network of trustworthy contacts. It wasn't enough. One night on the way back home there was a thud of heavy footsteps and suddenly armed men were coming from all directions. It was clear these boys meant business and were out to kill. I ran. Only later the next day could I piece together the picture from contacts and keeping an open ear. The men were coming from Dark Smoke District, wedged between the plazas of Stone Market and the furnaces below Craigscleft, and ruled by one Lady Azamlarg. A stern judge and reputedly a bit of a collector. How she found out about my doings is a mystery, but judging by the force she sent to take me in, she must have a high opinion of my capabilities. After the downlock job, the last thing I want is more attention, and an assassination is right out of the question. I need something more discreet, just a warning. I said that Lady Yasmlag has a treasure room in her palace right next to the courthouse where she hands down her verdicts, and she owns a valuable scepter that may be the perfect target for a bit of burglary. They say no one robs from a thief without suffering the consequences, and who am I to question old wisdom? Breaking into the palace will be no easy task. An associate I have done jobs for but who's been careful to stay anonymous in our dealings may have a key to a lower entrance, but he's not surrendering it without me doing him a favour first, and a downright odd one at that. Luckily, he's also provided me with handwritten instructions and a map of the district's streets and waterways. I'll enter at Trundle Street to the north, where it's hopefully easy to stay out of sight until nightfall, and start from there. To send Lady Asimlag a stronger message, I'll also be picking up some valuables from a palace. And if that proves inadequate, there's always the neighbourhood. Alright, let's get started. Um, what's the difference? It seems to be only uh, loot gold difference there, so let's do hard as usual. Lady Asimlag may have sent her best to kill you, but it's time to prove even her best are no match for your abilities. Break into her palace and steal her jeweled scepter. Dark Smoke District is a place of old aristocracy and prosperous merchants. There should be at least 1600 loot for the taking. You're already a wanted man. Better not make it worse by killing innocents. It will not serve your cause to kill an influential aristocrat. Let Lady Asimlag live so she may learn not to cross you again. Once you've accomplished your tasks, leave Dark Smoke District the way you came. Alright, so we've got our instructions from our anonymous person, I think. What's this tip? Someone may have information on a valuable treasure hidden in Dark Smoke District. Let's buy that. Um, uh, let's get a healing potion because I want it. And let's grab another flash bomb. Ugh, this doesn't leave us. We don't have much money, do we? Hmm. Get a couple more water arrows. We seem okay on ropes. We've got three ropes. We've got ten broadheads. Six water arrows. Two healing potions, two flash bombs. Yep, I'll have to do. No more sorrows, but let's hope I can just creep around and not need them. Right, here we are at Trundle Street, as the uh, sign there conveniently says. We have uh, instructions first, let's check that. Garrett, in recognition of previous favours, I may be able to assist you in this matter if you're first willing to help me with a small prank I have in mind. A mutual acquaintance you may have worked with before is in the exchanger was recently found guilty on count of thievery by the lady and he's now hanging by the neck on the gallows at widow's way in the lower dark smoke area i want you to steal his body and carry him to the cellar of the old bell tavern as a present to someone who will appreciate the joke mind you the patrols tonight will be out of force and it's unlikely the bartender and the bouncers would be happy to see you with your burden lay isn't down to sleep in a conspicuous location that'll make the point after you've done this meet me at the statue of saint tenor next to the tavern and i'll have a key ready Forget not the Tennis Plaza and Widows are both heavily patrolled, and also the bowmen have been posted on the parapets to watch for unlawful interlopers. The lady will in all likelihood be alone in her quarters, and yet, do not you underestimate her, for she is quick of wits and formidable with a blade. Well, so we gotta take someone's body and take it deliver it to the basement of the inn. Alright, uh, let's just check the map and then I'll have a look at the tip after that. So Trundle Street is here in the north. And uh, where are we going? Power 
that's Bailiff Street. So that's, yeah, the palace and the courthouse is, the palace is our target. Uh, do we get an objective? So we don't actually have that uh, instruction to get the body and deliver it as an objective, but we need to do that to get the key. Um, so I'll have to refer to my tip if I can't remember where to pick the guy up. It's probably the first thing we're going to do apart from stealing whatever we can lay hands on on the way. Alright, and um, what's our tip? Somewhere here. Garrett, here's one for you. Most of the wealthy households in Dark Smoke are too well guarded to just break in, but there might be an exception. The Beauregards, who once owned much of Stone Market, have fallen on hard times, and there's now only the master and his wife, both old and hard of hearing. No guards, and only a serving girl who I know will be out for tonight. There's said to be some relic mess of Beauregard is protecting on the top floor, something from the time he wasn't as pious as he is now. You've got to watch out for the old guy, since he has a mean temper. But with your abilities, it should be a snap. Beauregard's on the map. Yeah, they are. So, uh, relic there. Let's, let me show my instructions again. We've got to get uh, Issin's body, Widow's Way, take it to the old bell. Where's Widow's Way? Is it marked here? Oh, we've got more than one map. Oh, of course. And it's actually marked here, Widow's Way. So Gallus is there. Deliver body there. So that's down this way, I think. Oh, there's another bit of palace. Right, that's just directly to the south. Uh, okay, so this big place is bigger than I thought. What's the next map? I just notes. Alright. Let's get started with uh, exploring and stealing. You saw nothing. Okay, you're on edge, aren't you? Turn around. Let me. Yeah. This gate doesn't open, does it? Well, there's a lever. It's open from the other side. Which direction is that anyway? That's east. You just gonna stand there? All right. Thank you. Thought I saw something. No, it's not very dark there. Yeah. Nothing now. Oh, that's not a door that opens. Nor is that. No, I don't know about that one because it looks like a door. Nope, no handle. So far, this is a uh, much a lovelier uh, structure than the bad depths. It's uh, wide, it's winding, it's downhill, opens up wider and gets narrower. Uh, that's cracks left. I don't think we want to go there. <sighs> Where do we want to go? I think I want to go in that window. window. Let's take this potted plant with us and just carefully put it in a corner out of the way. Oh, there's nobody in. Nobody home. Oh, there's another window there. All right. We might go out that way. Oh, that. Is that a light shining through the window? Is that a secret door? It looks to me like a secret door. Let's uh, have a, keep an eye out for a lever. What have we got in the chest? Oh. A hand mirror. Great. Let's drop that on the bed. Goblet is not worth anything. Nothing down here, is there? Right, first, I'm going to go have a look on the rafters for some kind of switch. <laughs> dark actually. So a lot of fan missions seem to do that to me a bit down. Aha! There we are. Where does this take me? A pile of chests that don't open. It's a kind of storage room I guess. Although I don't know where it connects to. Just 
Nice rolled up carpet. Oh, we got a stick key. So I can hear this guy, I don't know where he is. So let's see if he comes in the room. Doesn't sound like he comes in here, all right. I can't fit through there. <laughs> I'll just walk on the sofa there. So this is the Burger Guards already? I guess so, yeah. Trundle Street, Trundle's down that way, and uh, we just climbed in a window here and found a way through to here. Okay. What's the book? And then, turning his attention on the third question, he said, In truth, the treasures are a metaphor. Gold and jewels are not given to thee by the Builder, although neither does he shun them if they be acquired by honest pursuits. The treasures of the Builder are the spiritual foundations of thy work. Father Dennis contemplated what was said and at last responded, if such treasures are in our grasp, what could a sail as foundation? Let us, my brothers, build a great cathedral in the builder's measures and fair materials to stand testament to man's ingenuity and his ascent from the deceptions of the trickster. One of the brothers, the youngest of the initiates, however, warned, Let us not begin this work, for I see a forest of hardship before us, and that forest's twists and pitfalls are legion. But Father Dennis rose again, saying, In truth, such may be, but for every tree there is an axe, and for every doubter, just punishment. Then was the brother carried away to the courtyard, where the weight of a staff was set on his back thirtyfold. And the other brothers raised stone on stone, with good mortar and sturdy hammer, and the great cathedral of the order was built. And the doubting brother, who carried the stones for his brethren, at last said, Such was my folly when I was young, but where am I to go now that the work is finished, and I am old and grey? And his brother said, Thou shalt go before our builder, as all men do. The father had set a harsh task for thee, but in secret did he say to us that by the measure of thine atonement, virtue was born. And then they buried his frame in rich, rich vestments, and he became the first saint of the order. Well, there we are. The, the legend of... Uh, wow, it's tight getting through these spaces. Of how they built the cathedral. Can I see this guard? Presumably that's Mr. Beauregard himself, right? Oh, he's there. Vigilance is thy shield, or the compendium of righteousness. The ways of sin and how the righteous should combat it. Hammer at compendium of precepts, regimens, and rules of conduct, volume 13 and volume 7. I better go carefully now because there's somebody asleep nearby. There's little kills on the stone floor back there. That's presumably Lady Beauregard. Oh, that's a lovely carpet. Yeah, just clothes. On the bed. I will take the loot. Anything else? Oh, Alright. Just a nice religious picture. Okay, let's go find out what, why Mr. Beauregard's walking up and down the stairs all night and see if we can find his relic from his less pious days. There's no doorway there, is there? There's a door I could close it and be less, less heard. I like the chain that light's hanging from. Very nice. Oh, there's an upstairs and is there a downstairs as well? There is. I think he's upstairs. Let's go find out. Yeah, say so. He's 
he's got a sword. So let's not let him try and use it on us. Now he's got a Latin too. Which seems pretty well attached to his body here. Oddly enough. Alright. So Mr. Beauregard won't bother us. That's where we came in. Here's his old hammer chapel. Uh, old door that doesn't unlock and it's all cobwebbed up. Lots of cobwebs up here. God, they can't even afford cleaners anymore, can they? Alright. Let's pick a lock. Oh wait, I've got a key. Does the key work? Better got a state key. Nope. Alright, let's pick the lock. Dun -dun -dun. It's a very hefty lock. Gotta be something valuable in here. It's like maximum complexity, I think. Well, I actually don't know if there's a limit to how many tumblers a lock can have in this game, but it uh, can be a lot. Aha! Very uh, pagan style uh, roof style. What's this? Oh. Ouch! Ouch, I wasn't expecting traps out of the middle of nowhere. Uh, okay. Well, I don't know where those are firing from, but uh, they got me. Ouch. Alright. So, yeah, let's heal. I was kind of expecting the healing potion would be needed for uh, saving me from enemies assaulting me, not uh, traps, but okay, that's fine. Let's go out the downstairs, which probably just leads to the front door, I guess. And they've fallen on hard times, but they've still got a pretty uh, large place here. Anything hiding under the stairs? Nope. Well, that'll be the front door. So what's in here? This would have been guard quarters, but there's, you know, they obviously can't afford any guards anymore. That's just a bench, okay. Doesn't appear to be any loot here. There's a guard outside patrolling. Does this door open? Yes, it does. It's very tall. Right, that's where my key will be for. Where's that key hiding? There we are. Nope. Not as dark here as it appears to be. Guard. Standing watch over a marketplace. Oh, poor fellow. I haven't had anything to eat. Alright, so we're here in the market. Got the relic. So let's uh, continue on. You haven't had anything to eat in days, Paul. Poor... Hello? Show yourself. All right, that's a bit brighter than I wanted. Um, oh, well. Nothing now. Can I go east from here? Potentially. I kind of want to get past, but uh, he's in the way. No. No one's making noise. Yeah, you go off and look. Look the other way. I go over here and see what all this signs about. Oh wait, he's coming. He must have seen me there. Ah! Uh, too many guards. All right. Yeah. But you're the same guy who's patrolling all the way to where we started, aren't you? You keep on imagining. What have we got up here? More bright light. Oh, that's right. Okay, I went in that window there. So, I could see if the water goes anywhere. I mean, it's a decent canal. That will actually take us a long way if I want to go that way. Hmm. It does take us closer to the gallows, which is really where we're trying to go first. So I guess I can come back and explore this area on the way back. Let's let's go in the water. Is there, anything, is there anything up in the water over here? Seems to be a bit of a current. Can't swim very fast. 
No, it's just floating out there. Alright. So let's swim with the flow this time. Alright, keep an eye out every now and again underwater in case there is. Oh. That's right, there'll be archers around, right? Oh, more of those hanging chains that uh, I saw in uh, Dirty Money. Oh, that current is getting too strong for me to swim against. This might have been a bad idea. I think I'm just going where the water takes us. Over the waterfall. Ooh, that's a lovely view coming up there. Nice. All right, uh, where are we in the map? We've just come over the falls here, so we're just in this area. I'm gonna keep going south. Uh, well, if there's a way, if there's a place to get out, and uh, it looks like we might have loot, I might do that. Like uh, this ladder. Okay, the current's still pretty strong, but let's go up here and see where it takes us. There's a ledge there. There's a balcony here. So this is the brochure's estate, I guess. Oh, there's a door with a handle that doesn't open. I really don't like that. There's another balcony there. It's further south. I wonder if I can make this jump. <laughs> Uh, well that's a window, not, not anything I can stick a rip arrow in. Oh, there's a chain. I can just walk. Banner! Oh, there's not one that drops. Oh, there's open. What have we got? Bread. Well, I'll eat it. I'm down one hit point or two. Let's say no. More chain. Alright, this is going back over there. This chain sounds very like a metal plate. Uh, going back to the waterfall. These letters are all very well, but they feel very un... I feel a little unbalanced on them, like, uh, easily. Fall to my death. Oh, we've got another window there. With, uh, some wooden beams here that... Hmm. How am I going to do this? I need to go on top. I'm up here, and we should be able to jump in that window. Should be nice. Someone's bedroom. A scented letter. Beloved sister, in time do the wounds heal and the ill feelings depart. I know you have reason to find me repellent for my past actions, but we are still of one blood, and now I have for you good news, maybe the best news. With the fall, my flowers have flowered as never before, and now I know whose arrival they herald. It is her, return to our barren, cursed lands, to take her own and fill them with mirth and plenty. Look you towards your tasks, for the time is foretold is upon us. Marcella. Right, that doesn't really mean much to me. Uh, I'll take your loot. That means stuff to me. I'll get another letter. Letter to Lord Baffert. Dear Lord Baffert, most endearing that you have written me. It must be a rare condition indeed that has afflicted you. There are but a few small issues I wish to clear which I believe to deserve your most illustrious attention. First, to talk of our encounter as foreordained is perhaps a trifle too melodramatic. As my maid tells me, you are rumoured to be a constant presence in the pubs and bordellos of the lower districts, and indeed, as the way from those haunts to your home leads right under my windows, it might be that we saw each other by pure chance. Some additional remarks. The flowers that have grown in your garden under the pale moonlight, I note are available in identical form on the market for two copies, so there is indeed no need to bother. Regarding your fiery burning for me, I hear this fire has singed many before, and as for the heavenly quiet descending upon you when you saw me, you could have at least managed a stammer in lieu of leering most fixedly at my bosom. Nay, Lord Bafford, I see your intentions, and have no wish whatsoever to oblige them. Yours, Lady Elise Eventrois. Another balcony with another chain across the waterfall. The door. It's interesting. And this door doesn't open. And uh, someone did not put this cupboard up against the wall. Very, uh, wherever the movers were when they moved in there. Very remiss of them. Oh wow, there's a place up there as well. Let's, let's run across a noisy middle chain. Oh, there's a guard in there. 
Hopefully I didn't hear my footsteps. We gotta have to down these stairs. Or oh, they're just patrolling on a wooden floor that I can hear. Hopefully the ladder. Oh, they just stepped on the wooden floor. God's message. Jacko, I've gotten word that the wall's leg breakers are once more encroaching on lower dark smoke. It might be just rumors, but one thing is sure. The lady will not tolerate a low reach incursion into dark smoke now or ever. And it is our promotion on the line. I will have my men watch the poor house and the small dive near the gallows for the time being. You should ask around the shops and houses upsides if there's been anything out of the ordinary. There's also that guy, Gregory, guarding the warehouses by Locksman's Gate. He might have seen something from his overlook. Nothing better to do than watch the canal anyhow. It's better if you talk to him. He seems to resent me for some reason. But he's been weird ever since he's been out of the force, so who knows? Old comrades fade away and become strangers. That's our lot. Aren't we? That's a really good question. Those sound really loud. Are they outside or under there? Huh? Oof. Right, you just wait here on this corner of the stairs. There's another guard wandering around up here, and I don't know if he comes in this room as well. Oh, there he is. Hello? Show oh. yourself. No one here. Oh, he's not looking this way. Just waiting. There is all this. We're back out on the streets again. Come back that way in a minute. Yeah, I'll just go. Try and get behind him, but he's coming back. <coughs> he's gonna stop the force. Oh! Is there anything up here? Always like roof beams, but uh, maybe just darkness. Maybe I get on the beams, so I don't see anything in the ceiling. Oh, he's coming back. I wonder if I can get past him. Oh, he's got money. I'll take the money. Why don't you turn around and have your money bag on my side, so... What's there? There's nothing there. Actually, there's that. Alright, he's just patrolling here. There is that literally nothing else here. Oh well, I didn't know, but I didn't need to knock him on the head. Is that the palace? It looks fancy. Where are we? We're looking east from... The watch station, I guess. So that's the Evandrol Estate and the Falls, I think. Yeah, I can hear the water below me. Oh yeah, that's the statue I was noticing from the other side and I saw these windows and said, oh, there's a place up there. So... What? Should we, yeah, down there's the, yeah. The water we came in. Alright. Then that street is west of here, which is just that place. So I'm, I'll, I'll not go out that way, I'll go, come that way later. And what's this? Huh. Maybe nothing? Alright, back down the stairs. And we'll try that other doorway that we could reach. No, this was the other doorway. Um, I guess we go for a swim again. Whee! Splish. Alright, so that was a ladder we climbed out of. So if we keep going west, there's a little uh, way out of the water here. Probably just doesn't go anywhere especially useful. Well, there's somebody on watch. Nothing to be seen now. 
Is that the guy they mentioned guarding the warehouse? We're looking west. Oh, it must be the back door of that. This is Bailiff Street, that's the back door of the palace. So we're not going that way yet. Oh, he's patrolling. Actually, that's worth noting. Come on, get in the darkness there, guy. Can't hear it anymore. Probably nothing. All right, so he walks back and forth. Does he go back? To come straight back to this door, or what? Oh, he keeps going. So we could get some scouting done. I'm not versus scouting. There's a number 10 door. So you can go stand there and watch again. Yeah. Actually, it's a bad idea because now I'm kind of stuck here, aren't I? Nope. Quick, quick, quick. Alright. Oh, he actually goes up, the, up, up past the doorway and round. Okay. Good to know he doesn't just stand there and guarding the door. Oh, that's not a door I could get in anyway. That's that's not a real door. It doesn't open. Why are you guarding a fake door? Right. Onwards. Alright, so that's where the ladder was. And there's nothing here, so we're going to keep going. Following the water south some more. Although, actually, change my mind. There's that ledge. I want to go on that ledge. Swim, Garrett, swim. Ah, faster. Hurry up. Let's try diagonal swimming. It's a little bit better. <laughs> Alright, more precarious ledges. There's a uh, garden up there. I don't know how to get to it. I don't see any wooden beams. For our ropey work. Knowing the ropes in this is very ropey work. This is all wood. That doesn't help me. So we got another guard moving through that door. Ooh, what's this? Belkanos wall. Belkanzos wall. Or is this the Brocious estate? There's a B. Might be B for Brocious. I mean, it's the same B for Bafford, but. Uh, Sure, the number of banners available. You know, these, these nobles are probably cheapskates and all hire the same embroiderer and they just keep using the same patterns. Oh, careful. Oh, no, no. Just walk, Garrett. Don't leap downstairs. You never know who might be waiting here to hear you and run you through with a sword. Like this fellow I can hear. Why is it not dark? Why is it so bright there? And they're on the tile floor. Don't come this way. Good. Did you stop walking or did... Is that a sound bug? Anything under the stairs? No. Dun, 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 oh, he stopped. Dun, dun. Stone there, so if we get on the stone in the dark. Hmm. Someone there? Nope. <coughs> Nobody there. I don't like this place at all. <coughs> Somebody there complaining. Didn't see me, it wasn't someone who could see me, was it? Uh, somebody downstairs, I think. Uh, Alright, so the British estate is not going to do us any favours, I think. Oh, there's a ladder down to the street, but I don't want to go down to the street. I, I do like the look of that, though. That's wooden. Let's try going up there. Oh! Ouch! Carrot! 
Especially there's a cow there. You know, oh, it's a thief, I think. No! <laughs> What's wrong is these bloody ropes are uh, killing me. <sighs> Alright, well, I'm mostly dead again. Where's our other healing potion? Don't know if this guy's gonna come, but I might as well pick the lock while I'm in the darkness. I'll just keep my ear open for his footsteps. Like that. Are you coming here? Coming my way? <coughs> you are coming my way. What's this? <coughs> it's a rope arrow, of course. <coughs> Standard thieves equipment. You should you should know what it is. <coughs> Shouldn't be a surprise to you to see one of them on a high rooftop. What are you doing here, after all? <coughs> Keeping an eye out for, uh... I don't know what. Uh, actually, let's take my rope arrow. And there's nothing in here to steal, is there? Gauges. High voltage signs. Equipment. How odd. Oh, that's the door, alright. It's like the two look identical, uh, but one of them actually lights up. I'll switch. It's a note. Barely legible note. Here's what I can have day's time. I will can have more. Just let me sleeves and works. The lady watches from her homes, knows all folk, and she knows me for tinkering. She will ask. Guinness, there you take your man's purse, and now you hang us by the neck. Then I will hang, but I will hang you. Will you hang me sides? Well, oh, and his stash that he was tinkering. I will tinkering that myself. So here we are, and uh, is this a different patch of water? There is only one patch of water, right? Uh, oh, this is the power station we're at. So. Must be overlooking these falls here. Or the top of them. The power we just went through. Alright. Um, nothing more on this side. I just can't climb up there, so I don't think. Maybe another way into the falls. Do I want to go for a swim again yet? Or not? Did I miss anything up here? Uh, that's Brush's estate. I could have gone into that building. Which is, I don't know what. Um, but it's a long way back and down some ropes, and I don't really fancy it. I think I'm gonna go push them again. Oh! Whoa! That's a long fall. And there's still a strong current. I'm trying to get a bit further on. Alright. What do we have here? More running water. No way out. Okay. Keep on going down. I was looking for now. Let's stay on that side. Shouldn't be able to see me that way. There's a fire up there. Right, and there's a grating, so we're definitely not going any further in this river. Let's take this ladder. I hope it's reasonably clear. Alrighty, we're out of the river. We're right down by the poor house and the gallows at Widow's Way. So we're getting near our first objective. Find the body that's hanging on the gallows and take it to the inn. Is that wood? It looks like wood, but also there's a ladder, so I don't need to know if it's wood or not. <laughs> need to risk a repair on it. Hmm. Another ladder. Very careless of you, inviting thieves to climb up this way and open doors into their own bases. Here's 
something. Get out of here! Nope. You know it's good for you. No, 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 no. Where's my flash bar? Flash bombs. No, I'm he didn't gonna blind make you bleed. He was looking the other way. Damn it! Ah, uh, I wasted both my uh, flashbangs to get one bloody thief. I should have just run away, but uh, I probably would have fallen my death down there. Ah, uh, better have some loot then to make it worth my while. And then the guard kind of noticed. I don't know whether it was his yelling he noticed or whether it was the flashbang, but uh, is there anyone in here actually? Lean against the door, I can't hear anyone. Come on, yeah. Chilly lock. Thank you. Oh, he does have a, a stasher. And some lucky dice. At least valuable dice, probably loaded rather than anything else. Uh, a window. I don't know if I can get out there, it looks a little short. That's not a valuable thing. He's got a crib, but no baby. Yeah, that's a little short for me. Even Garrett can't squeeze into that small place. Right, what have we got up here? Does this take us... Is this like apartments with a ladder for getting up and down between floors? Well, let's... Again first. Listen, nobody in there. A note pinned to the desk, a crumpled up letter, which has been straightened out by Garrett and spun in his inventory. Darcy says they dragged the lad to low reach despite his protestations, and nobody dared even look at them. You may say what you will, but anything the lady does to clean up dark smoke, she can't clean it at all. How could she know the city from that fancy place? And if she looked too long at the wall, the wall looked right back, and then she will be dragged to low reach all the same. You're a good catch, and I know you don't like to beg and steal to stay in this place, but believe me, you have a better lot than the poor wretches in the hollow pits, the ones who don't pay up. I saw a man steal away from the stone entrance one dawn, and they caught him, caught him right in the next street. He was whimpering when they went, when they dragged him back. One black leg caught him by the neck and slammed his head against the grates just because he could. Never saw that one again. So I say, not a word, or they'll break you like they broke the boy. That's just how it is in this place. Yeah, that's not the nicest of places. Ooh. Well, we have another way down to the street, a fast uh, exit to the street if I want one. Uh, more importantly, that's like a warehouse or something? Looking west over the... yeah, the warehouses. I'm sure we can get some uh, loot from there, but I will come back and finish... seeing if there's anything else in this hallway first. Nope, alright. Let us save, because this looks precarious, and then try... jump onto this beam. Well, that's metal. Keep it quiet. What? There's a... There's an archer. Where's the archer? Whoa! Well, I almost fell in the water. That would have been alright. Oh, well, good thing I saved, huh? So, where's that archer? On the rooftops? Alright, let's try and do this a little... Nope! Nope! Don't fall off! Don't! There's an arrow for you. Thank you! An arrow is just what I needed there. So is he on the street, the uh, archer? Is he an archer? Oh, he's got a sword. This guy's got a sword. Oh, is that it? There's the archer. Okay. So I think it's not someone on the rooftop, it's someone down below. Alright, I'm not worried about the swordsman, but the archer potentially could hurt me up here. Alright, I don't think I've been spotted this time, but it's not as dark as it looks. I wanna know when is they gonna bring me my dinner. How about uh, blackjack for dinner? Yeah. Tasty, isn't it? Uh, I guess we're gonna leave him here. I can't really, nowhere really to leave him, throw him out here. I can't just leave him on the ledge. He might fall off in the water and drown. And not. Oh! Somebody saw me. I was busy prattling away. 
It's really the guy down the street just on me. Yeah, it is. Alright. Uh, I'm not gonna be full of holes. I'm gonna rob this warehouse. And you'll have no way to stop me. He's got very good vision, though. I'm surprised. Like, I'm on these ledges, like, uh, 20 meters above his head. Oh. It's a corpse. Uh, not really what I was hoping to find in a chest. Well, part of a corpse. No, it is a corpse, just... Kinda... Hmm... Squashed up. Rigor mortis still affecting him. Alright, there's uh, an apple. I'll eat that. No hit points. Gold hammer's good. Sword is no good. What's the note say? Gregory, I'll send a skiff just below your place tomorrow to move the special cargo. Until then, stay put for your sake and for my sake as well. This is way too big, completely over our heads. You know what they do to anyone who does this. Asm lags, gallows, or crags cleft will be nothing in comparison. We just didn't think it through and they'll be all over in a few days. Just act natural and for heaven's sake, don't drop a hint of what we did. Well, a special cargo was what I found in the chest there, I'm guessing. Very special. We should just drop it in the water to uh, foil their plans. No machinery. Door 8 doesn't open. Pile of coal. There's something on the roof there. Can I, is there any way to get up there? Well, ropes, obviously. Always ropes. that door open? Nope, but it looks the same as one of those other ones that was a door that opened. Again, same thing with these grills, you can't tell. Well, maybe you can't tell. Ooh. It's a long way down. And this is a metal beam, so I don't see a way to get back up once they drop down there. Hmm, so this is the northern warehouse, I guess. Before I go in there, let's go over this direction. More guards. Bricked up doorway. Some metal pipes to the north. And we're overlooking Ore Street here, I guess. It's the old steel mill on the left. Let's go in there and take a look. Don't want to go down to street level yet. So, I don't want to see what's in this steel mill. Can I get back up here? Yeah, I can climb that. It's noisy, but I don't see many guards around, so it's alright. Switch. Door, bars of boxes. Anything hidden back here? Nope. Yeah, who, would hide, who would hide loot in a steel mill, right? That door doesn't open. Oh, this is the street. Alright, let's not go that way. Oh, I've meant to close it. Don't want to draw too much attention to me with all this clanking. I don't walk into that. Alright. Not a gas arrow or something there, is there? Nah, just, just smoke. Alright, carefully now. No, 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 Carefully, he says. Carefully. Good work, Cap. Uh, alright, well, there was nothing in there. Nope. Nope. Nope, no, 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 no. Uh, there was nothing in there. No loot that I found, so I don't need to go back there. Let's just, let's just try this other direction. Uh, which was where? That passage. Which I don't know if I can get back up. But you know. Where's the risk? There's these chains that I can drop down onto. So I won't die immediately. Um, and then I can climb onto this machine. Oops. Sort of. I guess from there. Come on, carefully. Do I just want to jump in the water? 
I guess we probably do. There's a ladder to get out, so I think the water's fine. Oh! There's a crystal in a toolbox in the bottom of the water. There's a pipe there. Alright, let's go to the ladder. I don't know where I am. Just, like, geographically, this is the northern part of the warehouse, but it's not a warehouse. It's machinery. More clunky metal floors. More ladders. Ladders that seem destined to cause me pain. Alright, let's open this door. Oh, it just takes me back here. Alright. So, maybe there's nothing there but the crystal. Cool. Alright, so these people have their special cargo. Oh wait, did I go up on these roof beams? I didn't go on these roof beams. I didn't even notice these roof beams. That'll teach me to look up. We have a random chain. How odd. Oh, that's the, for, the, for the hoist out doors. Uh, okay, nothing special about them. Right, so this corpse I'm gonna throw into the water. Just gonna boil the plants. Oh, it's our archer friend. Uh, he noticed something. Alright. Let's die! Dear oh dear. Maybe the whole running in. Uh, Right, nothing on the roof beams. Not you. If I throw you down, I'm in trouble. I don't want to kill you. Show your stay. Oh, so he saw me again. So I saw an open window over there. I don't know how I can get to it. Oh, that's downstairs in the apartments. Right, none of those ones at the top are open. Right, I think I just need to make a run for it. That door's no good. Make a run for it and try and get back in that window. Uh. Ow! No! He's a good shot! And he's highly alert. Try it again. There we go. Alright, let's save. Okay, back downstairs. And find where we came into this apartment, which wasn't here, was it? Uh, actually it was here. And another ladder. Careful, I'm falling to my death a lot, so uh, hence all the overly cautious saving on ladders. Well, you're not coming this way, are you? Dark here, look at look at the shadow. Should be pitch black here. Oh, that is our archer friend, I think. Who's that the swordsman? Swordsman. Okay. Less problematic. Still. Don't really want to run into him. Let's go to the ladder. Or not. <coughs> Ouch. Yeah, you heard, you heard something there, didn't you? That was me trying to kill myself again. Nothing to worry about, you don't need to come and kill me, I'm gonna do it myself. Alrighty! Try and find me here. Wasn't a very good. He's around there somewhere. It's not a very good escape route, really, because it doesn't leave me anywhere useful to go. Just make one little noise. 
splash. Come on. I got away. Give up. Go about your business. Like that. you to try and kill me for twisting my own ankle. Alrighty, what have we got here? We, uh, directions, directions. We're facing east. We have the poor house. And Gellis is in north. Wait, Gellis is in where is way. I guess this is the poor house. It's not a very, doesn't certainly look like a rich house. before the other guy comes back. God damn it. This is gonna go badly. Come on, light, blink out. I there's an intruder here! Ah, uh, not you two! You're dead, pal! Splish! Oh well, this is exciting, isn't it? All you gotta do is come here and look over the edge. I'm not. I haven't actually gone far. Oh, damn. Uh, come out and face me. I feel like all these flickering lights everywhere. It's a nice touch. All right, he's also giving up again. Didn't hear that. Okay, trying to get off the ladder and kind of failing. Why don't you join your friend? No! no. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Yeah? You asked for it. Am I gonna be sorry, am I? I mean, I am a little bit because it's inconvenient, but Where not. Are you? I'm not overly sorry right now. Hey you! Come back! Whoops! Ah! <laughs> he didn't even notice me landing on his head. Oh no! I'll come back in the darkness here. Let me get around behind you. Like that! Perfect! I don't even have to move your body. Brilliant. Right, back to my business. She's so rudely interrupted. Although, I'm Garrett. I'm a thief. I like to steal money. Why am I trying to break into the poor house where people are not likely to have money? Oh, this isn't a poor house. This has got weapons. Tarnished key and a scrap of paper that says, Hey, Gil, look what I found in the canal. There was some commotion up the stream and the watchdogs fished out a dead old taffer who got swept down to the gate and was too deep in the drink by the time they got him out. This old key fell out of his clothes when they took the corpse. We should ask around discreet who it was and where he was living. Mate might make a few coins with this old thing. Also, you taffer, I told you not to leave your cash box out on the table just like that. That's practically an invitation for any lockbreak on the prowl. And then you can run to the watch with that. Only reason I'm not doing it myself is I'm too nice for this city. Well, cash box, eh? Hey? How much cash have you got? You have some money! Speed potion, healing potion, nice. I can definitely use a healing potion. I won't say no to some uh, road barrage either. Oh, look at that, he's hidden some money up behind the pots. I'll take that too. Anyway, Gil, that'll teach you to leave all your valuables out on display behind a flimsy door. I could have broken that door down with my sword, I didn't even need to pick the locks. So much for protecting your valuables. Alright, I think... This is going to lead us to Widow's Way, right? I hope... This is Widow's Way, and there's the gallows. Alright. I'm going to... end this episode here, because it's been an hour. And I'm going to take a short break. And... Hopefully... Come back, there'll be more of disorientation. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you shortly.